I am riding to all 852 quick trip locations throughout the Midwest on my motorcycle. Happy day three, officially, even though it's 10, 20 in the morning already. <clears throat> I was up at five trying to make up for lost time for yesterday. Where am I at here? Richland Center? I don't know where the frig I am. Yeah, I just did these two. That's right off the interstate here. All right, so that is correct. Doon Doon. Doon Doon in Richland Center. Dun Dun Dun. Okay, we are good to go. Oh, tired. Wish there was more time in the day. Oh, and also, my port from all the rain yesterday, I think got waterlogged or something like that and won't hold charge. So my quad lock no longer works. And I just put in like a USB-C to my iPhone charger to see if that would work. No. So right now I'm going off at 50% and I have an external like battery pack. But I don't know how long that's going to last me. Hopefully it lasts me all 15 hours that I have to ride today. <laughs> 13 hours? Technically 13 hours. There's no way I'm riding 13 hours without stopping today. Definitely going to be behind. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get on the road because that's what's needed. I love the Driftless region mm, so much. We're at the north end of it yet, but... Oh, the sun, I welcome it a thousand percent right now. It's such a dreary, overcast morning too, that I needed a little pick-me-up and this is, this is definitely needed because I'm, oh, I hate feeling so far behind. First motorcycle of the day. All right. Let's find this quick trip. One thing that's I'm realizing is taking a toll, and I'm, hopefully it's not going to be a bad thing, is all the starting and stopping my bike has to do. <laughs> oh. Literally 850 some odd times. It's things that, you know, as you're sitting here on the bike, you worry about. Hoping. I thought that'll be fine. But also, just the back and forth of using the clutch and the brake and all of that through these small towns, big towns. Like, I, my average speed is like 20 miles an hour for the entire day of riding 18 hours yesterday. 20 miles an hour. Lots of stop and go lights, lots of stop signs, lots of getting irritated because the stop lights won't recognize that you're sitting there. I love, 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 love riding the Highway 60 Scenic Byway here in Wisconsin. It is hmm. just what I need for a pick-me-up this afternoon, like around that 12 o'clock, 11, or one, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock time frame, I kind of get a little, uh, just lose a bunch of energy, so this is, this is as natural as it gets is this part, and ugh. This is the Wisconsin Ribbon River too. But this Driftless region is mm, so good. Apparently, this one's not on my list, but I have a feeling, <laughs> oh, it makes me a little nervous, but this is the only one that wasn't updated in my last or my first waypoints. This is this is the newest quick trip. It's the Belmont one. So I was like, oh shoot. I'm glad I'm paying attention. Or else I would have completely missed this one. Definitely going inside, go to the bathroom. This one. This is a fancy new one. Why not? Wondering why. See, and it does have me. It's just the waypoint wasn't here. That's good. Alright, never mind. My route was good, just my little waypoint guy was missing for this new one. 
Can we show France here? Look at it. Dang. I love that the layouts are very similar in the newer ones. It's good. It's good. Look how pretty it is. How bright it is. Okay, to the bathroom I go. Hold on. There's a beer cave. Oh, I could do work here too. I'm gonna go grab my lift. That's fantastic. If I needed to cool off and it was hot outside, that'd be the perfect place to go. Hello, commentator. <laughs> These bathrooms, top notch. Had to stop quick, newest road, 124, and I'm riding it, so had to be quick. Yeah, yeah. Random thought that I had, I am probably close to 200 quick trip stops in right now, and that's where I'm at, close right now. But for the amount of times that I've seen a Culver's near a quick trip, this partnership between you two somehow needs to happen. Like, that would be perfect. So, I'm riding along, right? And it's been a long three days. I did have a shower last night, so that counts. But that's literally all I did, and I went to bed. Like, I passed the F out. But. As I'm riding on the freeway or the interstate, I realized I was like, Whew, I can smell myself. And like when I'm going through the cities and the stop and go lights, like I don't really notice it too much. But that wind just makes it up and lofts through my jacket. And I'm smelling myself going, You smell ripe, Whitney, like super ripe. I'm glad nobody needs to be near me right now because it's, it's good. good. <laughs> okay. So it's technically day four, but I'm still going on day three, like 22 hours of riding right now. Um, I realize I'm going through most of the Madison stops and there's a lot here that I just kind of kept going and going and going and realized, oh, okay, it's 2 a.m., it's 3 a.m., it's almost going to be 4 a.m. now. But I'm riding through most of these when there is minimal traffic, so I really can't complain. I'm going to finish my protein shake and keep going. This is the fastest route to get to the quick star. Seriously? It's official, guys. I'm in quick star country now.